station. I've got my visor open, so hopefully this all of my audio comes out well. Tell me what you guys are thinking about uh, Harley Davidson's new lineup that's come out now that everybody's seen it. And then the other day they released the brand new. I really like how they're kind of they stagger this stuff out now. I, I'm kind of digging that. Are you guys digging it as well? The 131 Screaming Eagle crate motor. Dare I ask the question, how much power is too much power? Well, I have a feeling, especially the guys up at Moonshine Harley Davidson, they're gonna say, it's never enough, brother. <laughs> Man, let me tell you what, I've just kind of watched a couple of videos from Harley about the specs on that motor and Man, what are you going to be able to do with that motor? Some of you motorheads, gearheads out there, you tell me, what are they going to be able to do with this crate motor? What can they turn it into? Can they turn it into anything? I don't really know. I'm, I'm just not well versed in, in, in motors and, and horsepowers. All I know is 135 and a Harley Davidson tour bike. It's gonna scoot a little bit, you know? I've been on a couple of high horsepower moonshine Harley Davidson builds and those things, I mean, they got instant throttle response on them. Then once you get higher into those RPMs, brother, they really start to, that's when they really start to work and start to dig in. I told you guys before, I was always one of those guys that I understood horsepower a little bit as like, hey, great, horsepower makes you go faster. You know, I started out, I rode dirt bikes, crotch rockets and all that stuff, but I just never really said, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the high horsepower. Then once I started riding those moonshine builds, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I get it now. I like the high horsepower bikes. I like to be able to move, not only just to move, just for the sake of moving quickly, but to get out of situations. So I wanna know, what are you guys thinking? Are you excited about, two things I guess, are you excited about the way they're staggering out all this information with the new stuff? And then are you excited about the builds? I'm kind of wondering what's next as far as the new stuff? What's coming out next month? What's coming out the month after that? Because didn't last year they release maybe I don't know, two or three new things, and they kind of staggered it out. I thought that was pretty cool. I tell you what I'm doing right now. I'm headed over to the, where I have my boat, and I'm going to film a quick video or part of a video for my OMG Bassin channel. And guys, there is a reason that I'm kind of promoting that on here is because I want some of you to go over there. I want some of you to see it. It's something that a father and son are doing together, and, and we're really going to start putting more content on that channel. Uh, up until previously the last couple of weeks it has been it was five months before I since I put the last thing up we did a catfish catfishing adventure and me and the OMG junior and, and guys you know you'll see the same old me over there but at the same time you're gonna see a little bit different side of me probably a little more calmer especially when we get into the fishing videos because of the focus because for you guys that don't know, I know it's a squirrel moment, man. I was talking about a motor and I jumped right into the, <laughs> this fishing. For you guys that don't know, I used to fish uh, the Red Man Tournament Trail. I used to fish professional bass fishing trails. I had zero, zero sponsors, and except myself. The job that I have, I just saved all my money and paid for all the entry fees and, and everything. I slept in my truck. I would go pull up to the boat dock pull in there and sleep there just in my truck J just because I couldn't afford sleeping in a hotel I could afford one but it would have ran me dry so it would have been borderline being able to afford one but I guess that's kind of if you're borderline then you really can't afford one but I was sleeping in my truck just so I could have enough gas and, and try to do well man it was as a kid it was a dream that I I really just wanted to be a professional bass angler or a professional wrestler and as you guys know the professional wrestler is what won out <laughs> i should have made bass fishing a full contact sport brother but sometimes i wonder to myself what in the world how would i have felt i know i probably would hurt less because there's so much of my body that just aches the aches and pains of being taking bumps and yeah somebody's burning leaves again Phew. <laughs> thanks but no thanks brothers but the aches and pains of of the wrestling the, you know the fake stuff that people don't understand about that dude was tweaking big time but yes yeah they were in another squirrel moment anyways sometimes i wonder what in the heck how would life have been different i'm sure everybody wonders and thinks about those things you tell me what do you think about how would it have been different don't say anything that 
is going to make your significant other upset. Thank goodness my camera was not on for that. I just got smoked by a Honda Civic. <laughs> yeah. Woo -wee. My phone died, so I'm at home. It was getting late anyway, so I, I came home and decided that I would finish up here in the morning. I don't know if you guys watched that video on the 135 Screaming Eagle Stage 4 engine. And, um, you know, I'm not going to insert a bunch of cool graphics or anything. My thing is that I truly want to know what you guys think because if you've watched that video on Harley Davidson's website, Harley's saying that it's the most displacement and the most power ever created in a, they say, a street compliance crate performance engine. So that, that's pretty big. Uh, have any of you guys had the uh, any of the crate motors that have been designed and put out up to now? I want to know that and and let us know what if, what have your thoughts been on them? Do you like them? Have they been good for you? Um, you know, a crate motor that's putting out 130 horsepower, 143 foot pounds of torque, and then in that Harley Davidson video that I'm talking about they make a list uh, and they say that it's got cnc ported cylinder heads high performance cam bearings and tappets and a bunch of other stuff that honestly me because i'm not a motorhead i'm not a, I'm not a gearhead i don't even know what it means all i do know is that it just sounds extremely extremely fast it sounds like that harley is really kind of putting some thought into these engines that they're building so what do you guys say? What do you guys say that you got, you guys that that have purchased it? Have you been on one? Have you ever taken a demo ride on, or, or rid, have you ridden a friend's bike that has a crate motor in it? Uh, one of the newer crate motors. Or, you know, you tell me about one of the old ones if, if, if something. Tell me about a buddy that has built something that is uh, the best engine out there. You know, whatever you have. Where do you guys believe that Harley Davidson is going? What is their game plan? What is their end game? with their crate engines. Is this kind of a test to see, do people really wanna buy bigger engines and more expensive engines? I heard, and you know what, I didn't even check into this, but I heard uh, somebody say that it was around $8,000 for this motor, uh, seven or $8,000. I haven't even looked it up. You guys tell me, uh, what have you seen? Is it around eight? seven or eight thousand dollars is that just the motor i'm sure that's not including the installation and 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 my thoughts are um, what all has to be changed when you install something like that uh, do you have to change transmission uh do you have to change i don't, I don't know do you, do you change, is there anything else that has to be changed so you guys let me know i appreciate you watching today's episode if you have not already please hit the like button please consider huh He's ready to go ride his bike. Please consider subscribing to this channel. This is OG Junior. Keep it old school. Keep it old school. Thanks for watching, everyone. Love you. This is recorded by the way. I didn't, I didn't think it wasn't recorded. Okay. <laughs> Just check it.